Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video and today we have Nickelodeon's Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Samurai Yosagi Yojimbo and I was ecstatic finding this figure, like I was thinking I would never find him. I can't find Muckman because it sucks, but I at least found him. They put out a fresh case and there's just one, I guess it's just one per case. Um, not sure about the ratio if anybody does know comment down below, but I'm glad I have this figure and uh, Anybody is not familiar with this figure. He did come out in the original Turtle line and uh, honestly, he is a character from Yusagi Ojimbo. Uh, it is a comic that was created under in with uh, Mirage Mirage Studios and Mirage Studios also, you know did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all that good jazz. If you really want to know more about them, uh, Google it. Google will be your best friend. <laughs> um, but let's take a look at this package. Uh, first off, you got Isagi Ojimbo. Obviously, the style, I guess they're going from the Nickelodeon cartoon right on the front with the turtles. You got Leo, and then you got the rest of the turtles on the back. And I will do a little bit better close-up so you guys can actually see it. Amazing packaging. So if you guys are actually looking for Yusagi Ojimbo, make sure you look for this on the upper top. Muckman, I know, has like all the turtles up top. Um, nothing too crazy like this one, but definitely allows you to quickly glance. Um, then you got Yusagi Ojimbo in the bubble looking awesome. You know, Playmates right there. But one thing, Playmates, that I noticed, and I will show you guys. Um, first off on the back, Info. Put it all in there so you guys can read it. Pause it if you want. And on the back, it only shows the actual figures that come with this wave. Samurai Leo, Samurai Raph, Don, Donnie, Mikey. I mean, they come with cool little, like, dragon wolf masks that cover their face, which is uh, tempting because they're just using the same damn faces over and over again, and I'm sort of tired of it. And then why did they only give Leo one sword? It, Samurai or no samurai, and then why? If, if they're samurais, why don't they have a, uh, you know, the proper swords? I mean, he uses like a katana, stuff like that, and a wakizashi. I think I got that right. Could be wrong. Oh well, either way, um, they gave Yosagi Ojimbo the proper weaponry. But as you can notice, look at him. Look at how that painted on the. The little sash has the sheaths for the swords. Look at the handles painted all nice. The blades are silver. That's a damn fine looking figure. And uh, when you actually look at the figure, I mean, it's still a good figure. But as Playmates likes to cut their corners, you do not have the sash going around. You do not even have that painted. The swords are casted in a solid silver. They didn't even paint the handles. Now, Playmates, I understand the price value of these are like nine bucks. If if you need a couple more dollars, man, you could you could round it to ten bucks or something so we can get that little bit of paint there and the little extra because you can't advertise something like this if you're not gonna you know. Why, why? It's like false advertisement. Like, if I only saw this, and I ordered it out of a catalog, and this showed up, I like this figure. Granted, I haven't opened it yet, but I'd be pissed. It's like, it looks like just sort of half-assed. So, if anybody from Playmates is watching, I love your toys, but stop, stop being cheap. And also distribute your shit so people can actually get this figure because it's an awesome figure. And, and you know, distribute some Muckman so people can get that and stop fucking letting these scalpers buy all this shit and sell it on eBay. Sorry, guys. I'm just like, I, scalpers, I'm not happy with scalpers. So, that's the reason why we can't find stuff at times. But let's go ahead and get Yosagi Ojimbo out of the package so we can see really what this hair is all about. All right, we got Yosagi Ojimbo out of his packaging, and uh, he does come with two accessories. He comes with his katana. You can actually see the detail in this. It's not painted like it should be, but it's still casted in a like a grayish silver 
plastic. And then he comes with a smaller, basically exact same style sword, but just smaller blade, which is the Wakazashi. So, very, very formal, standard samurai weaponry. And the uh, figure itself, you see under his arm, because it's got the scabbards for him. So, then you just go, short one goes there. Let's see if I can get a better, there we go. The long one goes here. And what's nice is these fit nicely in there. They're not loose. This one's sort of loose. This one's a little snug, but not horrible. And what's nice about it is if you're familiar with like samurai swords and how they're supposed to be positioned, when they pull the blade out, the, the curve of the blade is never flipped this way. It's never an outward motion because when it's like this, you know, if it was in the scabbard he pull, they could pull it out and do a clean you know attack with it but that's a little you know a little bit of knowledge for you about some samurai stuff not much but just a little uh this figure is awesome i really 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 like this figure uh i love his head sculpt um very very clean let's get it to focus again in there i just wanted to get close look at that Got the little, little speckles for his freckles, or whatever those are. One side's a little blurry. That side's cleaner, but still not bad. It's got the scar going across his head, pink eyes, the eyeliner, looking awesome. And that's basically it for, like, detail. His head does rotate. Um, just your typical rotation. Can sort of look up and down a little bit, but awesome. Love it. Arms. They actually have some of this. This figure has probably one of the most articulation I've seen in a uh, new Turtles line. So his arms can go there. He has elbow bend. Nothing bad with my... Uh, and then he has some shoulder bend. I thought he had like an issue. Maybe not. Yeah, he sort of does. You can actually see it. See my shoulder part? It's loose. Almost looks like it's... It's not horribly loose, but you can see the gapping compared to this side. So, I guess Playmates had a little issue with quality control, but, you know, I'm not going to have to worry about that because there's no way I'm going to be able to get it fixed. And I think I might have had his arm upside down. I can't tell. But yeah, not a big fan of worrying about my toys being broken straight out of the package. Great. But yeah, no, I mean, that's the only problem. But uh, yeah, so same with the other arm. Full articulation. You know. And he has rotation at the wrist. He almost needs a wrist bend, but I mean that alone is a lot of articulation in a turtle's figure. Uh, legs feel really good um as for them kicking out they can go forward that much and that's about it they really don't go back and i think it's probably due to his shirt but they rotate really well you can see they just sort of spin kind of like a ball joint he's got somewhat of a knee bend hey we bend all right So yeah, and ankle rotation, no pivot or anything or or bend, but really good articulation, like the most I've seen in a in a turtle's figure. And then uh, looking at the sculpt itself, besides the head, um, he does have his little symbols on his shirt, painted really well, very clean. The nice little belt, sculpted. All these lines are sculpted. Even the the symbols are sculpted actually into the plastic. You sort of see where it divots in. This looks awesome. Disappointed they didn't continue this to wrap around or paint this. Like, this area got neglected 
quite a bit. So definitely awesome. And then his little little feet. Typical samurai little sandals. Got the peg holes and all that. But I mean there's nothing really bad. I mean, besides that shoulder issue, which as long as the shoulder stays intact, I will be completely fine. Swords actually fit nice and snug. But yeah, he is definitely a must-have figure, honestly. Um, any Turtles fan out there, um, Yosagi Ojimbo fan, it's, he's definitely a must-have. Um, I really, really like it. I wish his little tie for his... For his uh, ears was painted a little bit to you know differentiate from the figure but again i'm asking a lot from playmates as they do make very very simple figures and this one's very very awesome i wish they would continue with this articulation on all their figures honestly and uh this is my review of yosagi ojimbo from the nickelodeon Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you like what you saw, hit a like. Subscribe if you want to keep watching more of my stuff. If you keep seeing it, hit that subscribe button if you keep finding yourself coming to my channel. And uh, keep on hunting. Keep on collecting. Uh, and uh, have a great day.